Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. Yeah, kind of. Kind yeah. of. We're, we're going to talk about the uh, continued dumpster fire, the continuing raging burning dumpster fire down in Florida with with Disney and all of the drama around that that Florida bill. The parental rights and education bill that, that they keep saying don't say gay. Yes, whatever you want to call it, right? The video's not about that. What we're going to talk about is that more uh, politicians are coming out against Disney. They've really whacked the beehive. And now there are threats that uh, they could rescind the Mickey Mouse copyright if they step into the situation in Florida. Uh, you know, Disney has... You know, originally they were going to stay neutral on it. Uh, then they got into it. They backpedaled. It was kind of like Will Smith with Jada, Jada, you know, giving him the stink eye. And then Bob Chapek's like, oh, yeah, we're going to fight it. He walks gonna... up to Florida and slaps it. Slaps Florida and Florida is slapping back hard. Uh, all kinds of threats about, you know, maybe, um, you know, terminating the Reedy Creek Act. Yeah. And, and then, yeah. then Disney's like, we're going to put money behind repealing laws. And now they're trying to throw themselves into legislation, which is there are lines corporations shouldn't be crossing. Yes. But, you know, um, and the thing is, at the end of the day, it's Florida. It's, it's really, it, it's about the people in Florida and what they want. And it's about their law. And it doesn't matter, you know, about what everybody else wants. But here comes a uh, Republican person from Indiana, I believe. Yeah. So what we're gonna we're gonna talk about this because everybody's weighing in on this now. You know, for and against. Mm -hmm. um, it's become a dumpster fire. It's gonna become a pissing match. And you know what is basically going on here is that we've got uh, opposers using it as a way to dunk on quote unquote wokeness because you're seeing it a lot like oh right. woke, woke disney world we're gonna take it down mm -hmm. we're gonna you know um so i don't expect this to die down anytime oh, soon no, heck no and i don't know what the end result is gonna be i mean honestly at the end of the day um you know florida needs disney and disney needs florida right but so what's coming to light is all the ways that disney has gotten like little special privileges across the board and now yeah. people are like threatening those privileges, like the Reedy Creek, um, 1967 Reedy Creek Protection Act. Well, here we have another one. So apparently this Jim Banks, who is uh, the House Republican Study Committee chairman, okay, okay, sent a letter to Bob Chapek about the bill. And basically it's involving Mickey Mouse's copyright. Yeah, which that's a whole nother issue. We'll, we'll talk a little bit about that after you read the, the letter. But, you know... Copyright law has been changed in many instances because of Disney. Mm -hmm. wanting to, to help Disney. To help Disney. And uh, this has been something that's been talked about for decades. It's like it's not fair. Disney gets to hold on to its stuff longer than they should. And the copyright laws all change and, and all of that. But, um, yeah, we're going to talk about this letter first. But before we talk about that, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 262,000 subs. Yay! Thank you for the support. We do talk an awful lot about Disney, a lot more than I would like to. People, yeah, I know they're getting sick they of just Disney, keep, but more and more stuff keeps coming up. It's they keep like, stepping for heaven's yeah. sakes. Just stay out of it. Stay down, everybody. Just to stay out of politics. So apparently, um, yeah. So we have this Jim Banks, and he wrote this letter to. Uh, Bob Chapek, and I'm going to read it to you. This is what he said. At home, Disney has uh, capitulated to far-left activists through hypocritical woke corporate actions. The most recent example is Disney's public opposition to Florida's Parental Rights and Education Act, which recently passed Florida's legislature and was signed into law by Governor Ron DeSantis. The law prohibits classroom instruction on sexual orientation or gender identity in kindergarten through third grade. Topics which are inappropriate for children at that age. When I was that little, I didn't know who my teachers were sleeping with, and I didn't care. Disney has said it wants this law repealed, even though it has broad support among Florida residents, especially parents. A senior Disney employee was recently caught on camera saying she wants many, many, many LGBTQIA characters in our stories. And according to a Disney employee, Disney's diversity, equity, and inclusion department expanded by an astonishing 633% in 2019 to 2021, which would have been Bob Iger. Um, yeah, so he's getting ready to leave. Yeah, yeah, at the yeah. same time that nearly every other department was contracting by 25 to 75%. This suggests Disney is purposefully influencing small children with political and sexual agenda. Okay, and they do have that reimagining tomorrow 
where they had people on video. Now, some of it, I think they took out of context. Not all of it. Yeah, some of it, I think, I mean, I, and I'm going to be fair, and I'm, I've am i been very critical of Reimagine Tomorrow. Uh, you know, I think it's a lot of posturing and whatever. But, but, you know, to be fair, some of it is taken out of context. Well, I know the one part, she said that she very much liked to see more stories, but she said in, an, in a, a way that doesn't seem like an agenda, and it has to be organic, and it has to be, like, and they weren't talking about just... LGBTQIA, they're all talking about yeah. minorities yeah. in general and, and diversity and inclusion. It's not all just representation yeah. for that. And even then she said, I mean, again, this is to be fair, to be fair. Um, and I, I forget her name off the top of my head, but she's the head of scripted programming. But she said that, uh, you know, she wanted gay characters to be organic and, and to have organic relatable storylines, not just, hey, this character has a gay storyline. Right, because it's basically so. like your only identifier is, oh, I'm gay, yeah. I'm a lesbian, I'm black. You know, that you have to be more than just that. But, you know, it's coming under fire because there were other people on there that were just like, I'm just gaming it up. Gay, 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 gay. And it's like, wait, these are, you're talking about programming for kids. Why does it matter? They're children. But anyway, I digress. The point of this video is that now... Um, this Jim Banks is threatening to make sure that Mickey Mouse copyright doesn't get renewed. Here's the thing, by the way the laws are set up, it shouldn't get renewed anyway, because in 2024, it's up for public domain. Now that's only the Steamboat Willie version. Yeah. Because every time there's a new version of Mickey Mouse that's been released, that will get the same amount of time. You know, so if something came out in, in like, you know, 1928, that like this would be this year. If it came out in 1930, 1930. it would be 26, you know, that yeah. 2026 till it could be re up for a renewal. Yeah. And the thing is, is that Disney is constantly, constantly revamping Mickey Mouse. Mm -hmm. Now, now that's one of the reasons why. Well, you know what's going to happen too, though, right? What's going to happen is uh, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, he can fall in the public domain because um, we don't acknowledge that version of Mickey Mouse because he's blackface. They've actually tried saying that, not Disney, but like people on yeah, Twitter. Yeah, no, like, that's stupid. That version of Mickey is is it's a, uh, it's black a cartoon faced, mouse. Uh, yes, he looks like all the other cartoon characters from that era. They were black and white. This is how they you know, usually black bodies. So, um, you know, with the animation, it was more smooth if you had one color for the body. Right, you, you couldn't make it a gray mouse. Color. Most yeah. even field mice are gray. Yeah. You know, yeah. it wasn't going to work in animation then. So um, that's what they're trying to threaten now. Now here's my thing. It's like. The problem is, I'm a little, where I'm coming from, or it looks like to me as an outsider, is you were just going to let it go about the, the, the copyright until you want to leverage it? Yeah, this is this is sticky, yeah, because this is uh, every couple of years this comes up. Uh, Disney always gets their own way. They no, do. but I'm just saying, this this person in particular, this, this, oh, yeah, this yeah. like, Jim Banks, if this wasn't an issue with Florida right now, would Jim Banks be doing anything to stop Disney from messing with copyright law again? Probably not, because it is a very uh, pro-business stance. Right, that's what I'm saying. I you mean, know? this is where I'm yeah. at. I'm yeah. at somewhere like, you know, but even the Reedy Creek thing, it's like, now it just looks kind of like, you know, it's almost like petty. And I don't want to say... Politics are yeah, petty you know and vindictive? I mean, I, mean I get why they're yeah. saying it, because Disney yeah. shouldn't be as a corporation doing politics at all. No. And Disney needs to stay the hell out of politics. But what I'm saying is these people now are like, oh, I'm going to punish Disney for things now that they've been known to have been abusing for years and you didn't give a shit mm -hmm. about the abuse before now, you know? Yeah, so let's go out to the courtroom. And uh, this is a couple paragraphs. They explain kind of what, what's going on with uh, the copyright situation with Mickey Mouse. Disney's influence over past copyright laws... Uh, Mickey Mouse was created in 1928, and the character fell under the Copyright Act of 1909. Under this act, Mickey Mouse would have been under copyright for 56 years, meaning its protections would have ended in 1984. Throughout its early years, the character became an iconic cornerstone of Disney, and the Mickey Mouse brand grew exponentially, bringing in billions of dollars, billions of dollars for the company. Losing control of the character would have been a hard hit to Disney in response to Mickey Mouse's earlier expiration protections. The company lobbied, lobbied the legislature. You pay money to a bunch of people, yeah. lobbyists, to go get you your way. Lobbied legislatures to have Mickey Mouse's copyrights extended. In 76, when the Copyright Act was reformed, protections for Mickey Mouse were extended from 56 years to 76 years, buying Disney years of additional protection with his copyright running out in 2003, not 1984. 
as the 2003, and I remember the 2003 coming up. I remember mm -hmm. that. As the 2003 protections are set to expire, Disney again lobbied. Washington, D.C. Lobbied, lobbied. Again, that means gave money to lobbyists to get them their own way. Probably Republicans. And probably paid off people to get yeah. their, their votes. Yep. Uh, copyright protections were extended another 20 years, protecting Mickey Mouse until 2023. Currently, Mickey Mouse is protected under the Sonny Bono Copyright Term Extension Act. The extension was passed in 1998 adds additional kinds of works were, that were created on or after January 1st, 1978, would enjoy copyright protection for the life of the author plus 70 years. The extension also protects corporate works for 95 years from the year they were first published, or 120 years from the year they were created, depending on whichever comes first. So in 1909, they couldn't imagine that a cartoon character, well, one, they couldn't imagine cartoons, uh, animation, but two, they couldn't imagine that a cartoon character created, you know, less than 20 years later was going to be around for almost a century. Yeah. 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 Become a corporate mascot. Uh, as the copyrights expiration looms in the coming years, questions about whether or not Disney will push for the extension. Oh, everybody knows they're going to push for the extension. No, we're just going to give up on Mickey Mouse. We don't care. Because the reason they'll fight it, either they don't want to keep the Steamboat Willie version, is that they lose one version, then it's going to make it easier case for them to lose more. Yeah. Along with that, many critics have pointed out the potential harm in a private company having such great influence over legislation in the way Disney has had over copyright law. They have right. changed the laws. People have for brought it up many times. So that's my thing. It's like, I'm not saying that he's wrong to be like, we need to reexamine Mickey Mouse's copyright laws. Um, now, to be fair, I do think, too, that something like, like Mickey Mouse, where they said Batman's another one or something like that, is an issue. Uh, you know, well, the companies are still using it. So it wasn't like, you know, something that hasn't been really used for years. So yeah. there's that to consider also. But banks didn't care. I didn't seem to care before. Like, if this hadn't happened, would they have all just gone along with Disney and let them renew their copyright? You know, they're going to leverage what they can now to try to strong arm Disney. But my point is that all this aside... Why didn't anybody do anything before now? Why is it only coming up now when they want to get their own way over Disney? You know what I mean? They want yeah. Disney to do what they want. And that's what I have a problem with because it's not about what's right and wrong. It's about what you're going to use in the moment. Yeah. So, th and that's that's just it. This is going to get really, really ugly if Disney had uh, kept its nose out of politics, you know, wouldn't have. But, but then again, I'm like, but that's even, that's even just as bad. Disney hadn't gotten involved. They would have let it through. So yeah. it would have been because they would have been lobbied and there would have been more money exchanged and they would have probably just went along with it and they wouldn't be bringing it up at all now. Yeah. So this is um, it's kind uh, of bullshit the whole way around. It is a big steaming pile of mouse turds. Yes. Uh, and, and Disney is in it for the long haul. I think at this point there has been uh, damage done to its brand. Absolutely. On both sides of the aisle, because you have people that are like, well, Disney said something but they said something too late on one side of the aisle and then the other side people are like you know they're uh trying to to preach to our children and how about we Disney just stay out of it them being involved in all this is what put them in this position in the first place i or being constantly involved in politics is what is hurting the company now where if they had just you know kept with their internal stuff you know internally that you can't tell them they can't have you know more diversity and inclusion right. and i and i have no problem with it as long as it's even and fair but like i'm just saying you know internally they were already doing stuff so they could have just stayed out of the whole thing you know entirely they could have but you know <laughs> <laughs> this is not a very smart company. But anymore. then again, like I said, then people are gonna they're gonna try to punish Disney on things they're abusing only when they can use it leverage to leverage. Everything. Yeah. What if they thought they were abusing the like, laws and they thought they were abusing stuff in Florida with Reedy Creek mm -hmm. and if they thought they were abusing copyright? Why didn't any of these people do anything about it before? That is that is a that's good point. the question. Um, so this has definitely become a political pissing match. Um, I, I don't know how it's gonna end. I think. I mean, the Reedy Creek thing in particular would be a disaster for Disney and a disaster for the state of Florida if that gets yanked. I mean, it would kill the economy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's not, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have answers. We're just watching it uh, with a big ass bucket of popcorn. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe not in a Mickey Mouse popcorn bucket for much longer, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Going to wrap it up? Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.
Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume and don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to Brewster is eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. Run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, she wait. was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a- Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my god, you got the axe. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Ah! Right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run them carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>